Hey everybody, this is Rhett. Welcome to Statistics. In this video, we'll learn about interpreting scatter plots. Our goal is to determine the type of relation that exists between two variables. We'll look at direction, pattern, and strength. So let's start with direction. The direction of a relation can be either positive or negative. If the direction is positive, then smaller values of the explanatory variable are generally associated with smaller values of the response. On the other hand, if the direction is negative, then smaller values of the explanatory variable are generally associated with larger values of the response. Let's look at a couple of examples. Here's an example of a positive association. Notice that smaller values of the explanatory variable are associated with smaller values of the response and larger with larger. Generally speaking, there's an upward trend as you go from left to right. Here's an example of a negative association. Notice that smaller values of the explanatory variable, which would be on the x-axis, are associated with larger values of the response variable, which is on the y-axis. And generally speaking, there's a downward trend left to right. Now let's consider pattern. You might see a linear pattern, a nonlinear pattern, or no pattern at all in which case we say that there's no apparent relationship. If the pattern is linear, then all the markers in the scatter plot will fall on or near a straight line. If the pattern is nonlinear, then all the markers in the scatter plot will fall on or near some other shape. In this example, it looks like the markers fall on or near a parabola. On the other hand, if there's no apparent relationship, then the markers don't seem to follow any pattern at all. Okay, so say that there is a linear association. Is there a strong linear association, a weak linear association, or somewhere in between? How well do the markers line up? In this example, it looks like the markers line up perfectly. And in fact, this is a perfect negative linear association. In this example, the markers don't exactly line up, but they're pretty close. All the markers fall within a very narrow band. This is an example of a very strong positive linear association. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. In this example, the markers aren't lining up quite as well. It takes a broader band to capture all the markers. This is an example of a strong, positive, linear association. If we want a band to capture all the markers, we're pretty much going to need to cover our entire scatter plot. This is an example of a weak negative linear association. Let's recap. Here the markers line up perfectly and there's a downward trend left to right. Smaller values of the explanatory variable are associated with larger values of the response. This is an example of a perfect negative linear association. In this example the markers don't exactly line up, but they're very close. There's an upward trend from left to right. Small values of the explanatory variable are associated with small values of the response. This is an example of a very strong positive linear association. Here the direction is positive. There's an upward trend left to right but the markers don't line up all that well. This is an example of a strong positive linear association. 
Here we have a downward trend left to right. That's a negative association. In this case, it's a weak negative linear association. And finally, in this example, it's hard to determine either a pattern or a direction. So we say that there is no apparent association. In this video, we've learned about interpreting scatter plots. We discussed direction, which can be either positive or negative, pattern, which could be linear, nonlinear, or no apparent association. And finally, we discussed the strength of linear associations, whether strong or weak. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Until next time, stay real and be rational.